In this lesson, I want to discuss the origin, insertion, and action of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Let's just begin with a quick overview of some bony anatomy, some osteology. This structure, as you see here and here, these are the mastoid processes. And they will become very important for us in just a moment. Of course, we see the clavicle and the sternum. And you can see part of the sternum here, but you can see the manubrium of the sternum there. And uh, these structures will become very important for us as we discuss the origin, insertion, and action of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Sternocleidomastoid muscle, its name will pretty much tell you its origin and insertion. Sterno, because it has part of its origin on the sternum. Clado, because part of it is on the clavicle. Mastoid, because it inserts itself on the mastoid process. So sterno clada mastoid muscle. Now, I'm going to use purple to draw it on. And we can see part, they have usually one belly that comes off of here and another belly that contributes from the clavicle. And when we have them all together, we have a muscle with a very complex arrangement. But the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which, you know, as we can see, its origin insertion uh, we have these two two origins because of two bellies, a cavicular belly and a sternal belly, and they each have separate uh, origins and the insertion on the mastoid process. Now, when you think about these muscles, or this muscle, when you think about its movement, again, like I said, it's very helpful to move the insertion towards the origin. So what we like to do is if you imagine that, you're going to have flexion of the neck. Now, you can bend the neck downwards. You can actually twist the neck slightly because they have two sternocleidomastoid muscles, depending on which pair, on how you pair them and how you activate them. So as we think about this muscle that can be fairly complex, even, you know, as, as simple, it's got a very difficult name, but if you uh, understand its basic muscular anatomy, the osteology, and what it's doing, it's not too difficult to remember the origins, insertions, and actions of particular muscles. And so I hope this you find these videos helpful. And this concludes my little video on the origin, insertion, and action of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Thank you.